Hey guys, welcome back to some more Kirby Superstar. It's time to become a Meta Nightmare. You made that sound like a horrible thing. I mean, you maybe don't become a nightmare. This mode isn't really much of a nightmare. It's actually a really fun mode. Then why is it called that? Because you get to play the you game. You better redefine the meta. Now, that was a terrible pun. Is this the only like? Is it just me, or I've only ever seen Meta Knight do the thing with his cape, or when he's just standing there watching things? I've only ever seen him do that in the anime, and now I've actually seen him do this in this cutscene. Is that like the only canonical th time he's ever done that in this game, or in the, in the like series? wearing his cape, wearing his cape and walking around and stuff? I mean, yeah, I, feel like... Like he does it, I feel like he does it a lot in cutscenes in Return to Dreamland and maybe Star Allies and Robobot, but definitely more of the games where he is available in multiplayer. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, in the, yeah, like the single player style games, you don't really see him do much of anything besides swing his sword, so. Yeah, and most of the rest of the time where he turns around and he's wearing the cape, it's usually because you enter an area where he is, he turns around, then he throws off the cape and he just tells the Meta Knights to attack you. So, I mean, you see it for all of half a second in um, Nightmare in Dreamland a little bit as well. Uh, but more often than not, you mostly see it in cutscenes, so I guess technically um, Revenge of Meta Knight shows it up a little Stop bit. Stop picking Wispy's nose! I mean, it's the most effective way to kill him. He needs a hand because he doesn't have any. I can't imagine a sword being thrown up <laughs> your nose. But uh, I forgot to, to completely mention. Yeah, you're playing through the whole entirety of Ultra with uh, Meta Knight in this mode. And I mean the entirety of it because I think um, we're pretty much going through Spring Breeze right now, right? Yeah. This is basically a mode that does go through all of the main game modes in standard Kirby Superstar, so you're not doing, like, Revenge of the King with Meta Knight here. That's pretty much the only thing you don't do. But the biggest gimmick here with Meta Knight is that since he's the only one you can use and you can't actually use powers now, he has a set of four abilities that you can use on the touchscreen. Meta Quick, giving him an extra speed boost. Heal, which will heal him, obviously. Night Call, which gives you a helper, and then this move here in the Max Tornado, which is a screen nuke. Each one of these costs a certain amount of points, which you get from enemies, and obviously the Max Tornado being the most costly, is a very good reason for it. It can one-shot a lot of things. It fantastically makes his his um, charged attack from his boss fight look trivial. Yeah, pretty much. Which is really nice considering, like, for the longest time, this was the only game where Meta Knight would do anything other than just slashing the sword at you. And I feel like since Superstar Ultra and um, to a lesser extent... Oh, no. Never mind. I was going to say since Superstar Ultra, he's constantly been going back to that. But then I remembered he uses these sword attacks in Amazing Mirror and Squeak Squad. So I'm kind of making a redundant point there. Whoops. <laughs> Point being, it's dang good to be able to use that attack as a playable Meta Knight, so I am not going to scoff at that. Yeah, because the last game they did this with in the first game was uh, Nightmare in Dreamland GBA, and really he just had a sword, and that was it. It did have, like, fire elements to it, but for the most part, you were just playing Sword Kirby from start to finish. That was basically Meta Knight. The only other close-by similar equivalent was having the Master ability in Amazing Mirror, which was nice because it did give you the um the sword beam attack that is one of the attacks that the boss meta knight has but it's not the same it's yeah. it's nowhere near as versatile as meta knight is in ultra or in return to dreamland honestly i think and that's why this is such a nice expansion to his arsenal which you know i think this is the only game Besides, well, besides the multiplayer games, like, this is the only game besides, uh, Kirby, Nightmare in Dreamland, and, uh, Planet Robobot that you can actually play as Meta Knight in a mode, I think. Yeah, very true. Um, because, like, I'm thinking about it, the other really neat thing is that when you use Nightcore with Meta Knight, most of the time he'll make a 
um, a blade knight, but occasionally, no, most of the time we make sword knight, which is the green one, but occasionally he has a one in five chance of having blade knight show up, who is the one with the purple helmet. And Meta Knight is the only character who can summon a Blade Knight as a helper. You can never get it from Sword Kirby. Yeah. Mm. It's this little cosmetic difference, which is nice. Interestingly, Blade Knight and Sword Knight are both in Helper to Hero, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I believe so. But they play exactly the same, which is hilarious. It's not like this helps a little bit more like Meta Knight. It's just, no, nope, they're both in the game, so yes. This one's green, and this one's purple. That's about it. That's basically... yeah. So... But I think it's a nice touch. It makes it makes Meta Knight's inclusion feel like it affects the other modes as well, which is really nice. Yeah. I mean, you'll see in certain modes, but certain ones like this are just sta you know, standardized platforms. You just go from start to the finish, you got enemies and bosses to fight. But then we get the other modes, like Great Cave Offensive and Milky Way Wishes, where their gimmicks are not even there for Meta Knight, and they're a lot faster in comparison, especially Great Cave, because Great Cave Offensive, since you're not collecting the treasures, you just kind of whiz through that mode. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, in fact, um, the way they handle Old Castle, I really appreciate. <laughs> yep. Well, to be fair, that's the same way they handle it in standard Great Cave, if you're not going for the treasures. You just pop in and pop out. Yeah, I do like that. Also, um, because we haven't mentioned it, but it's probably well since obvious at this point, yes, Meta Knight does skip Gourmet Race. Yeah. The, the mode is so short, it, it just kind of figured, yeah, it's not worth doing. Also, where's his mouth? Yeah, I mean, just 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 shove it inside the mask and be fine. Just the food can fit through the eye cracks. <laughs> um, um, and now we'll actually that, right? think of it. Oh, no, Matt, you go. No, it's okay. Um... One the one thing that I really noticed, especially with the cutscenes in this in this mode too, is <laughs> this is basically Meta Knight's got Meta Knight's got a beef with everybody. The mode, yeah, it seems to be the trend with Superstar in general. I mean, that's how his mode started effectively. It's like on a dreamland, we perish at my hand. How they handle his mode in this is just so weird too. For that reason, <laughs> it's just kind of an more or less an afterthought that he's there for his crew. They're just kind of still attacking like it's Kirby there. Uh, to be honest, the way that they put in Meta Knight's incentive for not Meta Nightmare Ultra kind of feels like the way they wrap up Piccolo's story in Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors. Because literally in that mode, he goes to Namek, wishes on the Dragon Balls for King Piccolo to be brought back to life, and then fuses with him after fusing with Nao and Kami. And then fight Super Boo. Something tells me Goku's still the one who wins, though. No, it's so non-canon it hurts. <laughs> no, the only reason why I say that is because, you know, they did the exact same crap at Gohan. Yeah, I mean, but then again, Super Sonic Warriors even had a story mode for Krillin where Krillin beats Super Boo, so I'm just like, yeah, this is... This oh, yeah, is... that's right. I, I forgot all about that. <laughs> I forgot all about that stupid part. And like that, that weirdness of just being like King Pi Piccolo wing wishing King Piccolo back to life to beat him and then fuse with him and then fight Super Bill. I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess it would make sense, but at this point, why? I mean, we've had weird scenarios like that in other games too. What was it like Budokai 2? I think it was one of the Budokai games where Yamcha and Tien used to fight, I think, Cell or something. Well, no, there was one I'm also thinking of where Cell accidentally absorbed Krillin. Yes, yes, both of those are a thing. <laughs> both of those are a thing. Of course it is. I still think one of my favorites is in Xenoverse. The whole time travel thing for the Cell arc makes Hercule an actual good fighter. And he's stronger than Cell. Uh -huh. Excuse me? Yeah, because in the beginning, you fight him as a normal human. He has a jetpack and everything like he has in a lot of his fighting games to fly around, but then he gets possessed by like the same dark energy you're fighting throughout time, and then he becomes as strong as Cell. In fact, he's probably worse than Cell. And then he just flies without his jetpack and everything. It's so stupid. 
Well, considering there were some of the old PlayStation 1 fighting games where literally he ran around with a backpack and every attack he did was basically using nuclear weapons that he would throw at the enemy, at that point, making him a good fighter is a dangerous thing to do. Yeah, because, like, you take one of the Budokai uh, Tenkaichi games and his blast attack is throwing a rock at you. <laughs> That's, 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 that's delightful. That is so silly, I love it. I still remember his super, even for Tank AG3, it's just, Oh, help me, Boo! And then Boo is the one who actually does all the damage. And he just cowers in fear in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and that's so good! That's what he does in the show, so it's like, yeah, it's very faithful. And very accurate. Yeah, very true. So very accurate, it hurts. Now, where's my super in... Like Fighter Z, where, where Goku flies away with, with just like the, the tractor. <laughs> I I want the tractor. I want the tractor final. Give me it. Ah, oh, I forgot my tractor. Oh, oh, did you? Speaking of Dragon Ball, did you see that Master Roshi is now finally going to? The I party? did indeed. I did indeed. Yeah, alongside like another Goku. Yeah, I mean, Ultra like. Mastered Ultra Instinct, I'm just like, yeah, I get it, shoe warning at this point. I'm curious to see who the other two fighters are. May <laughs> low-key have my fingers crossed for Shallot. And I can't wait until we get something like Super Saiyan Rage Goku next, just to add our Goku slot. Krillin with hair. <laughs> oh gosh. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, he always looked weird with hair, I'm not gonna lie. That's the thing, like, he may have always looked weird with hair, but I feel like the way that they did it with the partial haircut in Super was even weirder. Yeah. I don't mind the blue look. It looked better when they got to the whole, like, tournament arc and he just shaved it. And it went back to his original style at that point. Super confuses the heck out of me. <laughs> no, we need old Krillin from GT. Oh, there now there is an image. Old Krillin, the master of all. I mean, technically, he's the last fight for the entire show. Yeah. Goku Jr. doesn't count. It's. Mm. <laughs> is I, it? I'm sorry, but like, I, I'm a weird defender of GT. I enjoyed it. It's not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. It had it has good moments, guys. If anything, I feel like the writing was a little more consistent than Super. -y. Yeah. That's just me personally. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, Super's fine. It's just it has a lot of Goku's an idiot moments. Yeah. Like, like, uh, <laughs> what is he doing to that? What is Trunks doing to that woman? He's t kissing her. He's like, what is that? <laughs> Goku, you are married, you have two kids, you have grandkids, you are a sponge. You are not this stupid. I have seen season two of Dragon Ball Z. Do not pretend. I mean, this has come from the same guy who thought marriage was a food. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I still can't, I, I, it still just baffled me. <laughs> I'm just like... Uh, I know baffled Vegeta too in the show. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, wait, what's marriage? Wait, you don't even know how. Oh, ha ha! You thought I was being serious. What kind of idiot doesn't know who what marriage is? Meanwhile, Goku. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Meta Knight. Yeah, I love how oh, oh, oh. Meta Knight yeah, skips sure. Goldmay Race, but still takes a nice leisurely stroll in the forest to fight Iron Mom. Yeah, I mean, just because. He's kind of in a way. Yeah. Also, I did notice that in Meta Nightmare Ultra, the invincibility candy never shows up because Meta Quick is actually a replacement for it. Yeah. Well, you don't get the same invincibility, but you get the same speed from the candy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And to be fair, with how overpowered Meta Knight is, do you really think he needs an invincibility period? Yeah. I mean, that one would be a little too much. I, I love how whenever he's on a Warp Star and he's got a, a Meta, a, a, a Blade Knight, he's like, you're coming along with me. Yeah, it just drags him by the feet. You must not come along, sir. You must. We must go and defeat the giant chicken. 
I like Dino Blade. I've always liked Dino Blade so much. And I'm glad that this version introduced like Dino Blade's actual theme, which I think actually was debuted in Air Ride first. Yeah, yeah. it was. Because the Dino Blade theme is so good. You're not even gonna help those those kids. But then, like he's just like, hey, hey. Not on their own. If they fall into the ocean, it is not my problem. Here's how you fly. Watch me. And then he just flies away. I did it. I'm gonna I'm going to go get milk. I'll be back soon. I'm, I'm going to go get milk. Here, take this torch. Meta Knight's probably that guy who goes out for milk and never comes back. <laughs> oh, no. There's where the real nightmare comes from. <laughs> oh no. Oof. And I thought Vegeta was worse dad. Meet Meta Knight. He goes out for milk and never comes back. 